Hi guys, welcome to Forester Studio. Today I'm gonna talk about the most valuable thing of Corona, limits. Okay, as usual, I will draw a plan. Ten thousand by ten thousand, and no segment. Another T part. Eight hundred. To go then let me override material and increase this number up to maximum this contract should be four yep then I'm gonna raise a few lights this one and change to this enable the target let's run a test maybe higher higher okay then I'm gonna duplicate another light. So, in this sense, we have two lights. Stop and activate the limits. In the scene tab, hit setup limits and select this one in the video lights generate. And that's it, very simple. But we cannot use this viewport to see the limits. We got the VFP. This one is VFP. So in the limits tab, we have all the lights in this scene. I can turn them off at the same time and turn them on at the same time we can turn off one by one and turn on one by one we can for environment we don't have <coughs> we can control the intensity of each one stronger weaker And we can control the color of each one. Can you see? During the rendering process, we can control all of these functions. Even when it finished the rendering process, we still can control this function as well. So, to understand clearer about the Corona limits, we should jump to another example. Alright, let me import a model to our scene, Merge File. Okay, what do we have here? I can see a statue and a few lights. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lights. And each of them was already named as the position on the clock. So very easy to understand which should be on and which should be off. Now we're gonna create a corona camera perspective and select something like this one. Okay, create a corona camera. Yep. Now we activate the limits in the scene tab, set up limits and choose this one individual lights. Generate 
and okay good to go open vip Ooh. ah yes this highlight compress should be 99 the contract should be 5 or 4 let's start with 4 now turn them up and now I can experience many lighting solution for example I want the light from right so I turn this one, three are locked. And I want the light from the left. So turn this one, nine o'clock. Or I want the light from behind. So this one, 12 o'clock. Or even in front of, six o'clock. Or I can even combine them to make the statue look more interesting. For example, I will light up by this one first at the major light source. Should be stronger? No, too much. Let's start with two. Okay, start with this. And I want a soft light from the left so maybe 730 but soft okay and I want to emphasize the A of the statue so I choose to Turn on 130, so I have it. It look more detailed. Can you see it? Maybe too much. Okay. And now I'm gonna change the color of the light source. For example, this I want it kind of stronger and warmer for all the rest I prefer something cooler this I even can copy the color from this last to this one that's it on this one I think I prefer this one okay so with the limits you can experience many lighting solution for this statue as many as you want so that's it for today I hope you find this video useful for your job and if you like please hit the like button appreciate See you until the next time. Take care.